Put it simply, I needed an excuse to play Campus Legends. I am so obsessed with Campus Legends. They brought it back with all the 10 OG teams and they added two new teams. I played one game with Ohio State and one game with Bama. So now there's 12 teams in the game and I was trying to think, what can I do? I've won with every team. I made a whole video where I won with every team in one video. And I was looking back at old videos and I had a little nostalgia. Remember when every Madden YouTuber was doing these videos? It's like four years ago, bro. LNU was still making videos. If you guys been watching that long. I love you. But if you haven't been watching that long, here's a little throwback. These were like the most popular Madden videos four years ago. I don't expect this video to bang, but it will be a fun little throwback. Spin the wheel of college teams. I have made some iterations of this video before, but it's never been like this. Because before I'd spin the wheel and I might add one player from that college, but now it's actually going to determine what college team I'm going to play as here. We're going to spin this twice. So I'm going to get two wins with two separate teams. But my fate is completely decided by this wheel right here. I've got all 12 teams on there. I'm excited. And if we get 500 rushing yards, we get a 90 overall Chase Young and Ultimate Team. So I'll go for some rushing yards today. Hopefully we get one of the teams with the God tier running back. All right, boys, my fate is decided by this wheel right here. Our team is going to be Texas or Florida. I think I'd rather have Florida. That team always goaded. Yes, we get the Gators. It's been a while since I've used the Gators. If I was super cracked, I could try and get 250 rushing yards a game. It'd be really difficult, but I really really like Florida as the team to do that with because we have 99 Tebow who is stupid fast. I swear to God, he has like 99 speed. And then we also have Fred Taylor. I really like, I just like the Florida team a lot. Also boys, I'm super excited to partner with Dr. Squatch on today's video. Look at that beauty right there. Dr. Squatch makes these incredibly cool all natural bars of soap for men. You have probably heard me talk about them and I likely won't ever stop uh, because I love what they make. They're so awesome. This is my favorite scent right here. It's called Pine Tar. Oh, look at that, dude. Just by looking at it or really holding it, you can tell this isn't like a synthetic, chemically made bar of soap like you're probably used to seeing in the store. And since they make their soap with high quality natural ingredients, you can really tell a difference in the scent. I always get compliments when I use Dr. Squatch. That's why I'm gonna never stop using it. And this is just one scent. I do personally love Pine Tar. They've got a ton. You can check it out on their website. I guarantee you're gonna love one of them. They also sent me Wood Barrel Bourbon, a close second favorite. They have other hygiene products too, like deodorant, as well as shampoo and conditioner. Conditioner. And yeah, they know I love pine tar. So they actually sent me the pine tar deodorant and the pine tar shampoo and conditioner. Also made with high quality natural ingredients. I feel like a beauty vlogger. Oh, that's so sick. Jet black shampoo. It's fire. As you can tell, I highly recommend all of Dr. Squatch's products. New customers can get 20% off on orders of $20 or more. Just use the code DSQMMG and click the link in the description below. Check it out. You won't regret it. Enjoy the rest of the video, boys. What a sick matchup. It would be so rare to see this matchup in real life too. Florida versus Ohio State. Joey Galloway on the kick return. He's got human joystick, bro. That Galloway is actually really good. So Gerard Davis, Jack Youngblood. I can't, I don't know if this is Javon Kearse or J-Ron Kearse. I think it's Javon Kearse. Brandon Spikes, oh, I'll miss him. Marcus May, Joe Hayden, Reggie Nelson. So our nine, our only 95 is Kearse. And our abilities, we got Speedster and Edge Threat Elite on Javon Kearse. Joe Hayden's got short, medium, and then El Toro under pressure on Youngblood. We definitely have to send Kearse off the edge every single time. He has to be a menace to society down there. And you're gonna throw dude, he's gonna rage quit. I can't get these rushing. I'm not, dude, he's gonna rage quit. That is the one thing about Campus Legends. There's like no incentive to play a game out. Cause you know, in Mutt, you know, you're working towards something. How sick would Campus Legends be if there were playoffs and then a national championship and like, you know, winning it, you got some crazy good reward in Mutt. That would be really cool. Also, I just realized I'm in Wildcat. I did not mean to be in Wildcat, but badass. Tebow's out there as a wide receiver and he's low key not open at all, but B is except uh, I kind of want oh Fred Taylor holy shit he got contacted after five yards and got 11 out of that I might be able to get the rushing guys bro Tebow's got fast break and dashing that eye Kyle Pitts has red zone threat matchup nightmare Percy Harvin has human joystick and evasive that is disgusting you know I thought Tebow had escape artists though clearly not the case great block Fred Taylor you fucking savage Tebow's gonna take off I think it's a touchdown I think it's a great downfield you can't train that. You can't train that kind of grit. Look at the downfield blocking from Kyle Pitts. Oh my, I might actually get 250 rushing yards in this game. We're already at a 50 bomb-ish, maybe 40. And we go for two every time. Just what savages do. I kind of want to go Percy Harvin here, but I can't predetermine. Uh, I think I got to go up the middle. <laughs> there might've been something there. 
He is gonna go with the handoff to Zeke, and we are not feeding Zeke. That looks like Dallas Cowboy Zeke. And by that, I mean he's not getting any rushing yards. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what a tackle! Joe Hayden! You will never see an open field tackle that good again. All right, let's see what he's got here. RPO peaks on bubble? Kind of looked like it. A little play action version of it. Oh, and he rifles a good one. Huge hit out of May, but that's a first down. Well done, Ohio State. First and 10, right side crosser is open, but he will throw the check down anyway. Oh my God, we are hitting. See if I can just clamp this up. Um, This is what I'm talking about, bro, with that Justin Fields. Demon. Might throw the check down again. It is open. Yup, yup. Damn, he comp- <gasps> We got him! Oh, it fumbled it out of bounds, no! That corner route is so open, he still dumps it down. This guy's a savage, no! Talking all that stuff about don't feel tackling, I missed two right there. Good, I have this check down here, and I think I got Zeke clamp two, young blood, no! Oh, he could have gotten positive yards, I'm surprised he threw that away, second and ten. All right, I got that crosser, I got this left side crosser, get a big hit! It wasn't a big hit, but McLaurin can't get much more than that. Oh my God, he ran it. I couldn't believe it. And Zeke is kind of feasting right there. Finally into positive yards. Congrats, Zeke, you're homeless. I am run committing everybody up the middle. I don't know what he's going for. He goes for the QB sneak. He did get a yard though. You think he no huddles that? Run commit, let's get there, same thing. Same thing, what? This is that how you stop it? Like right where I was? You think he does it again? If he does it again, he's got gigantic balls, dude. Oh, we can totally stop this. We're pinched. We're ready for it. Oh, he hands it off. Young Blood's there. The goal line stand from Florida. We're on a fourth and goal. I feel like you got to pass it now. Yeah, he's got to be passing this. No way this is a run. This is a pass. He's going to scramble. Step up. Step up. Dude, I, oh, I was so... I knew that's exactly what he was gonna do. He snapped it so damn fast, I couldn't get on a linebacker. Well played, well played. He used so much clock, bro. He used like literally like five or six minutes of clock. I like it, let's get downfield block. All right, Tebow, moving up the field. I'm getting those rushing yards. <laughs> I told you I wanted my rushing yards. I have three timeouts. I think I can get all the way down this field without a lot of issues. All right, little play action. Double team on Chase Young is a beautiful thing. And he doesn't take off for me yet. Tebow's got some room. Oh, that is a fast ass Bosa. Is that Bosa? I think it's Bosa, right? I think that's a QB spy on me oh it's not let's step up i'm going right through you oh no way oh that's jack tatum all right jack tatum's actually kind of fucking savage i can understand why he made that i thought for sure that tebow was going right through him big blitz right there uh just gonna get this off the gaddis not take much oh right in the middle is burton what a catch let's call that timeout we got one more i would love to touch that touchdown 2.14 to 7 get the ball at half let's double team the right side and roll out to the right might be cleared out for tebow just to go crazy do i want my rushing yards you know damn well i want my rushing yards get out of bounds people whoa 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 what the fuck that is one of the first times i think i've ever seen that that was awesome all right so it's first and ten i have basically one or two end zone shots and then a field goal i guess it depends on how open burton is here fucking what the fuck what the fuck was that why were you so open hey i'm not complaining what a laser from tebow we need a good two-point play here i'm actually gonna run i'm gonna run read option here with tebow let's read it up two-point conversion he is sitting on it we gotta hand it off and that's brennan scarlet not fucking fred taylor why is brennan scarlet in he's an idiot get sweaty with a little triple option here you know i love a little triple option let's see if he bites he does bite there so tebow's the read i still have the pitch if i want it whoa what just happened oh my god i think that guy bit so hard on the pitch key and tebow gets an air truck and he's gone oh my god tim tebow holy shit that was insane Azer. 20 to seven. What a play from Florida to open up the first half. All right, this left side crosser, all me. Oh shit, I dove a little early, but it worked. I dove early with Youngblood and then he ran over his limp body and got sacked. Oh wow, he's gonna roll out. He is gonna bomb it, but Hayden's got the X. Oh, you're just, you're lucky that wasn't inbounds. Hayden with the X factor was going to pick that shit off. Another blitz right here. I'm coming off the left side with this blitz and I'll sit over here with spikes as if I was gonna go. You safety, safety. <laughs> he's got a rage quit, bro. I'd be so mad. The only thing that sucks about this is when he does rage quit, I'm not gonna get my rushing yards. So you can't actually pause during a punt or a kickoff. So I have a very good feeling that once this lands, he's quitting. Well, and that's exactly what I was saying. 
But hey, that's our first game of the books, and I promise you boys two games. So let's see our second, our second game. Florida on the first one. I love a team with a 99 running back. LSU, they don't have a 99 running back, do they? They have Odell, who I think is their 99. Gonna be cracked. Beggars can't be choosers. LSU Tigers, we go Florida Gators first. Or LSU next. Who is the, oh, we get Joe Shiesty. Back in blood. We get Joe Shiesty, what am I complaining about? LSU versus Miami. I'm glad we didn't get a repeat of like OSU. This would be a fun one. Miami is also absolutely fucking stacked. Each team gets 199 and then usually 195 or 93 and that's it. And this game is already fucking over. Pat P with a pick, pitching it back to my dick, my ass. Oh my God, you're scaring the hell out of me. All right, so we got Jay Jettas, Justin Jefferson, Slotomatic Matchup Nightmare. Odell is mid in elite, deep out elite, yeah. But protected past lead elite is actually nasty on Burrow. I do think Odell's my 99. I think I have really good odds to just hold X and pray. Who's that? Look pretty good, actually. <laughs> there was a shot there. Oh, oh my fucking God. If that's not a laser, I don't know what it is. Right down the middle. Holy fuck, he just clamped the shit out of him. I'm a bum. I am homeless. I can't believe I thought he was gonna do that, Sean Taylor. Jim Kelly with a little play action and he just loves throwing INTs, bro. Quit so I can get a good game in. <laughs> Holy fuck, I could have done that shit. Wow, it's almost like it's almost like the Bengals playing the Raiders where Joe Burrow just owns your poverty franchise. That's what we're saying to Miami Hurricanes right now. Right down the seam? I actually don't want to do that on Ed Reed. We just got to get sticky with Edward Delaire. What a move. Oh, that's big on third down. What's so crazy too is this is such a young team. Like some of these teams are built out of like legends over years and years and years, right? But this team, like most of these good players are young or currently in the NFL right now. He's got Ray Lewis coming on my head, but I think Joe Shiesty is going to be a little too quick for him. I blatantly lied to my face. Uh, a is open, but how sick would this be? It's the white Devin Hester. Who are you? White guy. White guy named Hester? Who is that? Can some OG LSU fan tell me who that is? Fourth and five. Big conversion. Edward Zolaire out the backfield. Ooh, it wasn't even Edward Zolaire. And I turned the ball over. I was going to say, maybe he should run the football. He hasn't had a lot of success in the air. Although Edron James isn't having success right now either. So. How sick would it be, though, if they gave every single player their actual overall or their peak overall, right? Like this team has Justin Jefferson as a 90 overall. I think Justin Jefferson in Madden 22, I think he's like a 94 or a 90. 93 overall. Either way, he's, he's like a top five. Oh my God, you're ass. There's she ass. Get out of my game. I'm pitching this shit. Oh, Grant Del Pitt. Oh my God. He's actually going to take this. That went all the way around the globe. Oh no, redemption. Sean Taylor wasn't on him, so it's too easy. I think forcing two rage quits would be kind of savage. Oh, big run. You're going nowhere. Grant Delpit's having a good game. He's already got a touchdown, and he got a solid TFL right there. I just had a stroke trying to say that. Oh, he's going to go right side check down. Left side check down. Shit, he's in bounds. No. Hoping to go out. We'd have a fourth and one. He's making something happen here. I'll give it to him. He's employing a different strategy here, and it's working. Maybe he handed his control off to his brother or something, you know? He's like, older bro, I'm getting fucking clapped. Can you come in here and help out? Or, or, it's the same guy, and he's just homeless. What penalty did I just get? Did I just get a legal forward pass? Not only that, but it changed the camera angle. Wait, what the fuck? Look at the options. Third and 66 on own two? Don't tell me that's what I have. What the fuck? How? That doesn't make any sense at all. How could this possibly be the outcome? But look at that, press coverage. I think he just made a crucial mistake. I think we can bomb Odell over the top. I'm going for it. I don't have a ton of options. Uh-oh, this could be bad, it could be bad. Okay, well, at least we swatted it down, but now we're looking at fourth and 66. I really don't know what kind of play I like here. Uh, okay, okay, wait a minute. Oh, there is a, there is a universe where that happened, but guess what? I'm on defense now because of whatever ruling that was. Sack, easy money. Grant Delpit is having the game of his career. When's he gonna learn? When's he gonna learn? Play action ain't working. Quan Alexander, half a sack. Him and Lance Armstrong have something in common. Good INT, Jim. No! No! I thought we were gonna learn the fuck out of that. Get there! Oh my god, Grant Telpe! You're such a savage. All right, not this time, right? Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Oh, Delpit, get it, you bum! Dude, Grant Delpit is having the greatest game of his career. What a savage. I love you, Grant Delpit. Ooh, not a bad pass. I'll look for Thad again. Ooh, I don't know. 
Gotta give him a shot. It's our best player. You gotta give him a shot with no time on the clock. He runs past me. Dude, just quit. What are you doing? I think he got so scared that he just ran past the ball. Definitely best to just let the computer do that one. Odell Redemption times two. That time he was double covered. I like that. I think it was cover two man back there. Let's get this one into Uncle Lenny, yeah? Oh, that's actually so open. Read the blocks. Read the blocks. Great block right there. Let's get through Sean. That's Sean Taylor. <laughs> I'm not running him straight over. More excellent blocking on the sweep and Kevin Falk. Oh, I wish it was Lenny, bro. Damn, getting absolutely tracked down by Philip Buchanan right now. But he's not fast. Oh, uh, I think we're just one lurk away from putting this puppy away. Jeez, dude. I almost feel, I straight up almost feel bad. <laughs> 28 to zero, we get the dub. And you know what? I still think I had like 100 rushing, or no, I would have like 60 or 70. I didn't have the 250 though. LSU's not really built for the run game. They're definitely built for the pass game. Although, Will Clapp did go to LSU. How sick would it be if Will Clapp was the center? Oh. Either way, boys, thank you for watching. It's always an absolute blast. If you guys like these Campus Legends videos, please let me know. I will keep finding creative, fun excuses to play. But if it's saturated and you're over it, you can let me know that too. I don't mind. I am... I am Video Monkey. I just do whatever you guys tell me, so it is what it is. Hey, I love you, boys. Thanks so much as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.